What's going on everybody? I wanted to just go ahead and kind of give my thoughts on this recent situation that developed between NVIDIA and Hardware Unboxed recently. What you're seeing is a little bit of some Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay. I made a kind of a little like Netrunner build, stealthy type of deal. This is more towards the beginning. I'm a lot further in the story. I am enjoying it quite a bit. Um, but it is kind of buggy, but that's a whole other topic for another discussion for another day. So, uh, I really wanted to actually get into this because this is really disturbing uh, from NVIDIA and it, it makes you actually wonder if these type of situations have been going on for quite some time and um, if you've watched any of the recent videos from our reviewers like Jay's Two Cents, Linus, um, or uh, Bitwit, uh, Hardware Box, of course, Gamers Nexus, um, and so on and so forth, um, they almost allude to these are situations that they're constantly getting in but the truth is actually not coming out because of NDAs or, um, you know, whatever other type of agreements that are done, you know, behind the scenes. Um, and people are getting frustrated with it. You know, a lot of people are getting frustrated with a lot of these kind of backward, sideways corporate dealings that are going on. And, you know, it, it damages their integrity because they want to be able to have their opinionated views to get out to us, to the consumers, in, in all honesty, because their reputation is everything without a you know a reputation you can't be an honest reviewer and, and not being an honest reviewer means you don't make money so you put your livelihood uh for them and their families at stake so this is a big deal now when it comes to steve from horror and box um brian del rizzo the director of global pr for geforce for video sent an email out um not too long ago and it uh states as i quote Hi Steve, we've reached a critical juncture in the adoption of ray tracing and it, and it has gained industry-wide support from top titles, developers, game engines, APIs, consoles, and GPUs. As you know, NVIDIA is all in for ray tracing. Go figure. RT is important and core to the future of gaming. I would say that's a bit subjective. But it is also one part of our focus R&D efforts on revolutionizing video games and creating a better experience for gamers. The philosophy, the philosophy is also reflected in developing technologies such as DLSS, which Steve reamed them about for DLSS 1.0. 2.0 is a whole different story. It's excellent. And it's actually even mentioned on their website um, where I believe he goes immersively impressive um, or something along that lines on their website. It's actually captioned. It's, it's the first uh, feature point when it goes to that. Um, but anyways, the philosophy is also reflected in developing technologies such as DLSS, Reflex, and Broadcast. They offer an immense values to customers that are, who are purchasing a GPU. Uh, they don't get free GPUs, they work hard for their money, and they keep their GPUs for multiple years. Despite all this progress, your GPU reviews and recommendations have continued to focus singly on rasterization performance, and you have largely discounted all of the other technologies we offer gamers. Are you freaking kidding me you ask the man to review this he reviews it and then you get upset when he doesn't paint it in a positive sideways light that you want him to do he's not going to cherry pick because it is an honest reviewer and it hardware in the box is outstanding I, I particularly love their reviews on monitors i believe they're the best in the world when it comes to that so um it's very clear it's very clear from your community commentary that you do not see the same things that we see that way gamers <laughs> we gamers and at this point um, when i was watching the wan show uh, for Linus, he, he goes in for about an hour defending Hardware Unboxed and other people and he, he admits to his frustrations that he goes through uh, with NVIDIA and he has gone through in the past and the difference between a purely sponsored video and an actual review. Um, and what he goes on to say is that it, it, Linus just, he goes in and he like, he just curses NVIDIA out, basically says something along the lines that's like, F you NVIDIA, like, who do you think you are? Like, for them to call themselves gamers, and not to call the people, the reviewers who do these things, gamers, when they actually are the actual gamers. They're not the corporate suits. They're actual gamers giving the information to gamers because that's who they're selling to. That that I, I can't think of a more arrogant response. Uh, like, wow. Let me just continue. It's very clear that your community commentary, uh, that you do not see things, th see things the same way uh, we, gamers, and the rest of the industry do. Our Founders Edition boards and other NVIDIA products are being allocated to media outlets that recognize the changing landscape of gaming and features that are important to gamers and anyone buying a GPU today. Again, that's very subjective. 
be it for gaming, content creation, or studio streaming. And it's not to say that they don't uh, provide great products, but you can't say, hey, we determine how the, the industry goes for everything and what we say, we're gonna shove this down your throat and that's it. No, it's not the end all be all. Your consumers determine the direction that they want to go. You can lean something a certain way, but if the consumer doesn't buy it, then it, it's, it's not the, the, you know, the direction that the industry is gonna go. That's, that's simple. Um, Horror Box should continue to work with our ad and card partners. Wow. To secure GPUs to review. <laughs> wow. Just just wow. Um, of course, you still have access to obtain pre-release drivers and press materials, and that won't change. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're open to revisiting this in the future should your editorial direction change. So basically, do what we say or else we're not going to do that. what we do for everybody else. Now, he is not entitled to one of their products, but if you're going to blacklist him just because he didn't play ball how you wanted him to do, that that's terrible. And you can keep your GPUs. And I, I think... This is going to turn on a video where a lot of people are going to say, uh, you know what, you're kind of shady with your business dealings. We don't want anything to do with that, you know. Um, just, just wow. And then at the end, you know, it says uh, Brian Del Rizzo, director of Global PR. Now, NVIDIA did come out with a quote unquote apology uh, for this, but it really wasn't that. It was more like, oh, we got caught, my bad. That It, it really didn't say anything like we want to you know, help fix our reputation. This is not what we meant. No, it wasn't anything like that. They actually reached out to Steven, asked him to show the email, show the email that was sent to him to show that they, that they were sorry. Who does that? Like, how, how dare NVIDIA? I mean, this is this, this is a new low for them. I thought Intel was low, but wow, man, NVIDIA really took the cake on this. And this is not to say that, you know, I would prefer AMD because of this. It's more of buy the best product for your money. Don't don't be a fanboy of either side. At the end of the day, they're a business. And don't think uh, AMD is beyond this. Although I haven't seen them do this, I wouldn't be able to put it beyond them because they want to make money. And at the end of the day, they don't care about the consumer. Uh, they have many, many anti-consumer practices in video. It's not to say that AMD wouldn't do it in a heartbeat if they were making the same type of money. So, um... Steve also uh, got another email, just received an email from NVIDIA apologizing for the previous email and they have now walked everything back. The thing is a roller coaster ride over the past few days and I'd like to thank everyone who supported us. Obviously a huge thank you to Linus Sebastian. Linus did come and uh, you know make a almost an entire WAN show supporting uh, Steve from Hardware Unbox. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content and always thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.